Peace to all of you who truly love Jesus Christ. Uh, I want to ask a question to uh, everyone today. Is Jesus Christ your king or is he just uh, someone that you want to be there to give you the desires of your heart, to give you the things that you want in this world? Most Christians today want God. They want to go to heaven. They want the blessings of God and the gifts of God, but they don't want him all in their business. They don't want God telling them how to live their lives, telling them how to think, telling them what to do day to day. See, this is, uh, you know, this is how Satan deceives people so often because people are looking at God as this, this uh, being that is here just to give us whatever we want to uh, basically help us in this life for ourselves, you know, selfishly. But Jesus Christ is the king of kings. And uh, one thing that I used to enjoy when I still kind of enjoy is I, I watch a lot of um, like time period history, you know, uh, like uh, way back when there were uh, many kings and emperors and that type of thing. And, you know, in some instances, when someone would walk into one of these men's palaces, they could not even walk in. They used to have to come in on their knees, crawling on the ground to give reverence and honor to this man because of uh, his stature, because of their um, respect for him. You know, they bow 50 times before him or they had to uh, speak a certain way. They had to come dressed a certain way because of their respect and reverence for these men. Now, we know that Jesus Christ is the king of kings. He's the king over these men. He is the alpha and the omega. He is the one who holds all power and authority in heaven and earth. Yet, people who say that they know him, people who say that they love him, treat him as if he's just a buddy. They treat him as if he is not king of everything. Now, is Jesus Christ kind? Yes, he is kind. He's merciful. He's loving. He's a friend like we cannot even imagine. But it's a big, big mistake to forget that he is also king of kings. That he is also alpha and omega beginning and the end. All power and authority belongs to him. And you can never forget that when you're speaking to him, when you're seeking after him, when you are living your life before him. Jesus, he, he requires that you submit every aspect of your life to him, everything, how you live, how you love, how you think has to be in line with him because he is king. Now, when you come to Jesus Christ, because I know this is something that uh, most churches will never teach you. And, and will never tell you is that when you come to Jesus Christ, you have to come denying yourself. You have to come willing and obedient to him. Laying down everything that you think. Laying down your ways. And submitting. Bringing yourself low and humble before the king of kings. Giving your will over to his will.
loving what he says, every word that he says. Let him teach you how to be a man. Let him teach you how to be a woman. Because when we come into this world, we're being taught according to the uh, to the king, to the God of this world, which is Satan. We're being taught things that are against God. So I just wanted to uh, give this exhortation today and to um, cause people to really think about that. Is Jesus Christ your king and your God? Not just with your lips, because people honor Jesus with their lips. They say, oh, yeah, you know, you hear them in their prayers. Oh, King of Kings, oh, Alpha and Omega, oh, my God. You say these words, but is that what is true? Is that what is true in your heart? Have you submitted and surrendered to him? Everything. Your life. Do you consider his will every day and what you're doing? You know, do you ask his permission before you just go and do things? Before you uh, decide to, to move your family or before you decide to... Uh, go to school for uh, a degree or everything because Jesus Christ as king over you those that truly know him and hear his voice he he leads us and guides us every day into you know where to go what what um what work he wants us to do in in uh the kingdom you know, uh, if there is sin in our lives, he'll show us. If there's uh, someone he wants to, us to go and ask forgiveness from, he'll tell us. But, you know, I just wanted to make this video because I see so many Christians today who live unto themselves, who live selfishly, yet they think that they love Jesus Christ but he said those that love me keep my commandments he said that his friends are those that do whatever he commands so I wanted to remind you today that Jesus Christ is the king of kings he is much higher than any man who has ever walked this earth he's much higher than the angels all power and authority is in his hands. And, and we have to behave before him as such and live our lives unto him as such. He deserves all reverence from you, all fear, honor, and glory. It all belongs to him. Please uh, think on these things and, and re keep that in your remembrance when you come before him because... He loves it when we are humble before him, when we recognize who he is. You can just look up at the sky and see his majesty. Look up at the stars and the heavens and you can see his majesty. How small and insignificant we are before this great being, before this spirit. We know that God is a spirit, but we cannot even fathom what that is. What is it that is able to create such things as we can see who created us? We can only understand him and see him through his spirit that he gives to us. But I don't think we'll ever truly fully understand the majesty and power of God. So give God all reverence in your life and make him, truly make him your king. Not just in your words, but truly in your heart. Be blessed.